Did you know that a nuclear-powered submarine collided with an unknown object in the South China Sea, causing tensions between the US and China? This incident is just the tip of the iceberg. The real question is why are the United States nuclear-powered submarines surrounding China? The USS Connecticut is just one in a sea of powerful and truly terrifying US submarines equipped with high-tech sensors and capable of firing weapons including nukes. It all started in October of 2021, when the USS Connecticut, a powerful nuclear submarine, was on an unknown mission in the South China Sea. It was cruising at a high speed, undetected by any nearby vessels. Suddenly, out of nowhere, it hit something hard, causing a loud thud and a shockwave that rocked the entire submarine. It turned out that the USS Connecticut had hit an uncharted object in the seabed. The collision was severe and the submarine also suffered extensive damage. Due to the circumstances, three of its top officials were relieved of their duties. How did it happen? Well, the investigation report that came out in November pointed to poor decision-making and a lack of adherence to required procedures as the cause of the accident. But here's the thing, this incident is just the tip of the iceberg. What about the other unreported collisions that have happened in the South China Sea? And what was the submarine even doing in China's territory? With the involvement of nuclear-powered submarines like the USS Connecticut, the situation could have easily turned into a potential disaster. We should be glad that it didn't. The incident might be over for now, but the worries behind it are not. Beijing is suspicious, and rightly so. The South China Sea is a delicate region with strategic importance, and any accidents could cause ripples of tension and conflict. First, there is the potential danger of nuclear leakage. You might remember the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. It was a pretty scary time for everyone. Well, unfortunately, we still have to worry about the risk of this today, and nuclear submarines are a potential threat to the environment because of that. But that's not all. There's also something going on in the South China Sea that's got a lot of people on edge. The main question that needs to be answered is why was there a US nuclear-powered submarine in uncharted territories? One plausible theory seems like they want to keep their advantage when it comes to spying on China. The US is using some of their most powerful weapons, like billion-dollar nuclear submarines, to make sure that they stay ahead of the game. To get the full picture, let's have a brief look at the history of submarines. After World War II, the US Navy realized they needed a new kind of submarine to deal with the new rules of the Cold War. The old diesel subs just weren't cutting it anymore. That's when they came up with the idea of nuclear-powered submarines. It all started with the USS Nautilus, which was launched back in 1954. It was the first ever nuclear-powered submarine, and it changed the face of the Cold War forever. Hyman Rickover, who's considered the father of nuclear submarines, was the driving force behind this new technology. The Navy immediately recognized the importance of building a nuclear fleet, and research and design continued. In 1956, the U.S. Skipjack was launched with a fancy-sounding dirigible-type hull and a single propeller. But that was just the beginning. In the early 1960s, the U.S. Navy took things up a notch with the introduction of the submarine that launched nuclear missiles. These submarines, armed with the Polaris missile, had a strike range of almost 2,500 miles and could launch while still submerged. Yes, 2,500 miles! This was a game-changer, and it led to a massive growth in the submarine industry. Fast forward to today, and the U.S. Navy has the USS Virginia, a brand new class of submarine that represents more than 200 years of scientific and technological advancement. This thing is seriously impressive. It's completely powered by nuclear energy, has a sleek hull design, and is equipped with high-tech sensors that make it the ultimate spy in the water. But that's not all. The Virginia-class submarines are also armed to the teeth with 12 vertical launch system tubes and the ability to carry up to 37 torpedo-sized weapons, including the Tomahawk cruise missile. These missiles can travel up to 1,700 kilometers and are used for taking out ships and land targets. Now, I know what you're thinking. All this high-tech gear must come with a hefty price tag. And you're right. Each Virginia-class submarine costs a cool $2 to $2.4 billion. 
but it's worth it when you consider just how advanced these submarines are. And get this, they're even planning on equipping the Virginia class with new nuclear-armed cruise missiles. That's right, these submarines will have the ability to serve as a nuclear deterrent. So far, only larger Ohio-class and emerging Columbia-class boats are equipped to fire nuclear weapons. The Ohio-class is especially considered the backbone of the Navy's underwater fleet. But what's so special about these subs, you may ask? Well, for starters, they offer stealth to the Navy's fleet of ships. They are also capable of pursuing special operations with their unique guided missile capabilities. These subs form the foundation of the United States Strategic Nuclear Forces and are capable of carrying up to 154 Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles and 66 personnel. And if that's not enough to impress you, let me tell you about America's main trump card in nuclear deterrence at sea, the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, the Trident, and its modern upgrade, the Trident II. This missile has a range of 7,500 miles making it the most destructive means of waging war in human history. It's safe to say that the Ohio-class submarines are a force to be reckoned with. Their abilities and firepower make them a key component of the United States Navy's arsenal. In theory, this bad boy could deliver a nuclear missile strike on the enemy's territory directly from its home base. Yes, you heard that right. Even while anchored in Seattle, the Ohio can strike Beijing and with 24 launch tubes, it could absolutely devastate all of China. But let's hope it never comes to that. And that's not all. Ohio has other weapons that are just as deadly. For starters, let's talk about the Ohio's maneuvering torpedoes. These torpedoes are far ahead of its counterparts and could easily take down any enemy submarine. The Ohio is also capable of dropping a dozen underwater mines in just 15 minutes. And with just one slight touch, these mines can trigger a whopping 2,200 pounds of explosives. With their extreme payload capacity, dual crew deployment concept, and incorporated stealth, the Ohio class brings a level of mission flexibility and enhanced capabilities that our adversaries can't match. But the Ohio class submarines are not the only ones making waves in the Navy's submarine force. Right before we jump into the last part, if you made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. The Los Angeles class, sometimes also called the LA class, is another important submarine class that forms the backbone of the US Navy's submarine force. With 36 submarines of this class on active duty and 26 retired from service, the Los Angeles class has more nuclear submarines in it than any other class in the world. LA-class submarines really are a force to be reckoned with. These bad boys pack a punch with their 25 torpedo tube-launched weapons. And what's more, they're capable of launching Tomahawk cruise missiles horizontally. These missiles can travel up to 1,700 kilometers, meaning they can strike targets from far away without being detected. But the Los Angeles class is not the only player in town. Enter the Sea Wolf class, the ultimate predator in the underwater world. This beauty was created for the sole purpose of bullying enemy forces, and it's equipped with over 24 different types of torpedoes. Whether it's penetrating, maneuverable, or curving, the Sea Wolf has got the right torpedo for every occasion. And with its impressive stealth capabilities, no enemy could stand against it. And with its advanced technology, the US Navy describes the Sea Wolf as 10 times as quiet as an improved Los Angeles and a staggering 70 times as quiet as the original Los Angeles boat. That's just crazy! But here's the thing, the Sea Wolf is so specialized that it doesn't participate in foreign operations. Its main mission is to protect the homeland from invaders trying to undermine the security of the United States. All in all, US submarines are a key part of the United States' competitive edge, and there are a lot of different types of US Navy submarines that contribute to this mission. Each of them has its own unique abilities and place in history, and they all play a critical role in keeping the country safe. Which submarine class do you think is the most important one in the US Navy's arsenal? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to check out this video over here!